You know, Jack, he's a guy that's, yeah, he's, he's got a bit of a tainted past. And, you know, he's, he's trying to make amends and turn his life around. He's sober. He's clean. He's, he's finally booked, got a job for the first time, a real job. Uh, and he got it on his own. And he's come back to share the news of his good fortune with his on-again, off-again girlfriend for pretty much most of his adult childhood and into his adulthood. Uh, the problem with that relationship is that where he's trying to get clean and he's really trying to turn himself around, she's still really in the throes of her addiction and mm -hmm. her dysfunction. But they're still trying to make it work. And so they're going to celebrate in a very adult way and they're getting ready to do that and he sees something in the room that strikes him as odd. It's a hat, which shouldn't strike anyone as odd except it's a man's hat and it's not his hat. Right. And then the play starts to spiral out of control with his suspicions and doubts and the issues that they've had throughout the course of their relationship and then how anybody that he relies on within his life helps feed the dysfunction that is what's going on within their relationship and within Jackie. Yeah, it, it's interesting. It's, it's, you know, a hat, simple thing like that can send anyone's relationship into a spiral, can't it? There's a tiny bit of suspicion like that. <laughs> when, you, by other words, when you read the script, you knew straight away, this is, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to be involved in this. Is that right? Yes. Um, you know, you don't get writing like this that often. I mean, there's a reason why Stephen Adler Gerges just won the Pulitzer. And if you've read any of his other plays, you know, Jesus Hop the A-Train or uh, uh, Between Riverside and Crazy, which is what he just won the Pulitzer for, I mean, it, it, his writing is just amazing. And it's really kind of effortless for an actor to be able to, to jump into that and, and, and use their body as the vessel for telling that story. Mm. Um, I, you know, I, I, I equate it to like Tennessee Williams. You know, he is kind of a, a modern-day Tennessee Williams, and the writing is that good. Yeah. Um, so, and when I read it, and the thematics that are within this uh, this story, and then the, you know the the thematics that are that make up the character that is Jackie, I could relate on many different levels with what was going on. So, you know, I mean. Uh, my wife, when she saw me reading it, and she saw that I wasn't putting it down, I wasn't paying attention to the basketball game, she was just like, you want this? And I was like, yeah. And she goes, you're going to go to New York and audition for it? And I was like, yeah. And she goes, you're going to get it. And, <laughs> and the rest is history. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I know you said that you also don't re read reviews. It's getting good reviews. But a lot of what's mentioned there is the missing goatee. Um, <laughs> and I, I don't want I, to... I would blame myself for that. <laughs> I, I've been the one that's been, been talking about the goatee. Because you, you can't escape the show that I was on for eight years. Desperate mm -hmm. Housewives was a huge vehicle and a huge phenomenon. And, and I love it. And it's given me every opportunity that, that has created my career for, for a large part. But at the same time, I'm very happy to put that show to bed. Mm. And putting that show to bed also meant having to put that facial hair to bed because it just became very recognizable. I had several professional actor friends say that I had the most popular goatee in show business. So there you go. Yeah, perhaps the world's most famous <laughs> goatee. How are you finding the National Theatre? Uh, ah, it's, it's, yeah. London is amazing. Uh, being over here is amazing. Having been able to, uh, you know, extend the opportunity of my family to come over and spend time in London with me while I was working on this was amazing. The National Theatre and the community that exists there and the people that work there, it's, it has been just a, a wonderful place to hone my craft as an actor Fr from the United States in, in this world, in this acting world that is the UK and London. Yeah, well, you're giving audiences the chance to see you as well, which is brilliant news. And it's on, on and off until the 20th of August at the... Yeah, we're, we're in repertoire with uh, Three Days in the Country. So uh, you know, we've, we've got about, I think, 15, 16 performances left up until the 20th of August. Yeah. So plenty of time. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me.